in general what we mean by data extraction is what information are we going to extract from different papers yeah so we have shortlisted uh, and made a final selection of all the articles that we are going to include now to answer different research questions we have to come up with a, a mapping or a table which we call as a data extraction table and that basically tells what information we need to select from different research uh, from different sections of the research paper of each empirical paper that you have selected or your primary studies so that's in simple words refers to data extraction and data extraction should be kind of related or connected to the research questions that you have uh, that you have in mind okay so what that means is let's see an example here this is this paper we extracted two kinds of information from the selected papers so to answer research question 1 we extracted information for statistical analysis example publication year and research type so this information helped the authors to answer the research question 1 okay the next thing is to answer research question 2 and question 3 so what did they do to answer these two questions we collected information to identify key features such as research goal techniques and tools major contribution and limitations okay so this all information was identified Uh, to answer question two and three, so this kind of a connection between the research question to the information that you need to select from each empirical paper to answer that research question is uh, it should be documented, and this is called as a uh, data extraction. Another example from uh, this paper here: we classified papers in using two dimensions, factors, and type of research. These dimensions are based on the process identified by Peterson et al. which relies on keywording process to define a scope of a systematic research so in this in this particular paper they did data extraction and synthesis and classification so we are only talking about data extraction in this session in this class they looked for technological factors organizational factors and economic factors okay so this these three things help them to identify or answer their research question when they were looking into the types of papers that were there in their collection or in their selection they categorized them into experience papers validation research evaluation research solution proposal philosophical papers and opinion papers so different types of uh, papers that were used because maybe this type of a paper helps them to answer some aspect of the research so it is not necessary that all the research questions that you have would be answered from a single paper yeah so it could be that research question 1 and 2 came from a specific type of paper whereas research question 3 came from a different paper uh, so in this example uh, is whether we should include opinion papers or editorials in or not so in this paper you can see they have included opinion papers yeah, and in some examples earlier i showed uh, they excluded opinion papers so it is it depends upon the uh, the research that you are doing or right. another example here what is data extraction so in data extraction we call a data item is referring to the item that we have to extract or item that we have to look for in the research paper so there are there could be many different types of uh, information that you can extract that will help you to answer your research questions yeah so in this case in this paper they are extracting the study goal the machine learning algorithm or technique that's being used the types of requirements the process evaluation and so on so forth so data extraction actually starts the process of your data synthesis or your research synthesis because any information that you get or extract from your uh, from from your selection of papers will help you to synthesize the research okay so what i suggest or what i say is each data item can actually become one subheading within your uh, research synthesis or results section of your slr and if uh, one of if uh, these data items relate to your research questions then the synthesis becomes based upon individual research questions as well so depends upon how you want to your research uh, synthesis data items are very important uh, another example of data items uh, or data extraction which relates to research questions so here it is saying this data item helps to address research question 1 research question 2 3 4 and 5 and so on. 
okay so just to show you a different way and uh, sorry a different examples of how data extraction is done and why it is done another paper here they say we extract three different types of information content data qualitative data and quantitative data so what do they mean by that so content data refers to the information about the purpose of the study qualitative data is about findings and conclusions provided by the authors and quantitative data is when this uh, apply to the study or the data observed by experiment and research so this i, I kind of like this as well this approach uh, of context qualitative and quantitative uh, data and then this can be further uh, further broken up for example here it is uh, findings and conclusion i can even discussion could be uh, part of this and quantitative is actually the core experiments research the methodology uh, the experimental setup uh, and so on that can come here